Okay, Gorman. Here we are at Stephen King's door. Seth, I really want to tell you that I don't want to do this. I, I could care less about cloud rights. It's couldn't care less, Gorman. And besides, all I'm going to do is talk to Stephen King. That is it. All right, I'm going to knock at his door. <sighs> Who's there? Uh, Stephen King, we sent you an email. It, it, it was about clown racism. Could you, could you let us inside? Of course! Welcome in, my foolish mortals, into the home of the Master of Terror! Oh, for God's sakes. It's too late to go back and play with the band again. Thank you very much, Mr. King. Please, my friends, have a seat, have a seat. Come on in, come on in. Right, um, so as Seth was saying, we wanted to talk about clown racism. I mean, I, I guess we do, right, Seth? That's right. We're afraid that your movies might be creating a bad perception about clowns, and a rather unfair one. Boo! Did I scare you? Um, no, you, 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 you just sort of yelled boo rather loudly. It, it wasn't scary at all, actually. I want to tell you all now one of my scary ghost stories. Stephen Keene, I really think we need to stay on the issue here. Once. There was a scary balloon that floated around the sky and ate people. What? No? Then how about the story of the clown? Or the evil puppy dog? Or, or the iPhone 7 that ate people? Or the plastic cup? Stephen Keen, none of those things are scary. Why do you always write your stories about corn cobs and killer quarters? It just doesn't make any sense. Well, if you think you could tell a scarier story than the one about the pirate Pop-Tart, then go ahead and be my guest. Well, okay. Once there was a beautiful young woman piercing green eyes and bright blonde hair. She walked up to this old man, and she said to him, Do you know who I am? And the man didn't know. And the lady looked at him, and then she grabbed a hold of her face and pulled it off, and snakes began to fall from the face, slithering down to the floor. Anyways, I, I know that that, that was rather quickly told, but that, that, that was the best that I could do with my time. Hey, that actually was pretty scary. Good job, Seth. Thanks, Gorman. Ah, oh, yes. But I have one last scare for you children. Allow me to go to my box. The box? Yes, the box. She's right down here. Here it is. Reach into it and feel the intestines which are inside. It's spaghetti, isn't it? What? Uh, no, it is, it is intestines and even eyeballs. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I was going to just be quiet this whole time. But I've got to be honest, that is really pathetic, Stephen Key. That's like something a fifth grade teacher would do in spaghetti and meatballs. Oh, jeez, I just, I've never, I've never heard of something like that. Look, Stephen Keen, we, we don't have time to discuss this. There, there's something more important that we have to talk about. A very serious topic, clowns. I know you probably didn't mean to do this, but a lot of clowns were offended by your movie. 
And frankly, we'd like it if you would stop making this sort of stuff, stuff about clowns. Maybe find some other profession to make fun of, like plumbers or, or brain men or whatever, I don't care. Oh, well, I certainly didn't mean to offend anyone with my, with my writing. All right, I'll, I'll stop making clowns. From now on, clowns are off-limit in the Stephen Keen horror stories. That, that is a promise. Okay, thanks, Stephen Keen. I'm glad you learned your lesson. Why, of course. I myself personally have always loved clowns. Good to hear. I mean, I personally love clowns. I mean, if, if my daughter were to marry a clown, I, I would actually be kind of happy. It'd, it'd be nice if we could have a little more racially divided marriages. Everyone seems to be all just white and white. Well, I'm not sure about that. Wait, what? Well, I mean, I like clowns, and I don't mind my daughter being friends with them, but I don't want them to, you know, get married and, and breed with each other. I don't want any mixing there. I mean, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. You're not going to depict clowns in your book anymore? Right. Okay. Okay. I think we're just going to have to be good with that. Come on, Gorman. Let's get out of here. What? Oh, I was just playing on my phone. All right, I'm coming. How did they know it was spaghetti? Hmm. Hmm. Then I'm not. Hi, guys. I know this video might be weird, but this is a completely unedited video. It was mostly improvised. It can all be sh has to all be shot in one shot because I can't put the clips together. So thank you all for being so patient and understanding. I hope you enjoyed this video anyways. There's probably a few things you, you managed to laugh at. But anyways, a special thanks to Stephen Keene for coming on the show and my brother Gorman too. They both did a, a very good job. It was a, it was a very fun time. Anyways, see you all later.